Hello and welcome to the Achievement Diary, episode 4. First of all, sorry that's kind of long, but I did a whole lot this week and I just kind of wanted to share all of it. So, you know, you don't have to do it while only watching it. You can do it while you play RuneScape or something like that. I'm fine with that. And second, I changed some of the recording settings like halfway through this week. And so if you do notice a difference in the clips, can you go ahead and post the difference that you notice so I can kind of figure out which clip's really better? Because I tried to make it better, but I don't really know if I did. So post which one you find, if you find clips different at all, or if you just don't find any difference. And that way I can know in the future what I should really do. And enjoy. I've never spent my loyalty points on, actually I take that back. I do have one aura. That was like the very opening thing where they're doing the promotion. And... So right now I have 32,000 points. Now originally I was saving up for... Wait, there's special offers. What are those? Uh, runic accuracy. Uh, doesn't look special. Okay. Um, yeah, never mind. Okay. Back to this video. I don't want this to be too long. So um, basically, yeah, I do have the Call of the Sea aura, but... I don't really use it that much. I do use it occasionally when I go fishing, but just not that much. I was saving up for this one, the Wisdom Aura, because 2.5% experience for 30 minutes, 24 hours recharge. Basically, I was thinking that'd be really good for doing um, things like summoning, because... 2.5% experience bonus. Summoning is obviously a pretty fast skill to train once you're actually training it. It just takes a long time to gather the charms. And that was my original plan, especially because I was going for 93 summoning. But I think instead I'm going to go for the Jack of Trades because basically I'm looking at that level 86 rune crafting, 2.3 million rune crafting experience. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go with this. And plus, since I'm going to go for 93, if you go look at my levels here. See, I need to get 93 Slayer. And on the way to 93 Slayer, I'm going to get a lot of charms. And I'm hoping that 93 Slayer will be enough for 96 summoning. I really am hoping that. Hope really, yeah. Anyway, so basically this will go for rune crafting. I figure I can hopefully do it about six times a week. Oh, I finally sold those battle staffs. Okay, so yeah. So if I do, I need to get 10 skills. So, okay, so this is the first time I'm ever going to actually use this. So, uh, basically, I need 10 skills. So, let's see how this goes. And I'm getting a little bit of lag. Let's Pickpocketed, make sure I'm on controlled. And Ooh, that was a pretty good hit. Um, okay. Take the bones. And then I need to go cut a few trees. I really should bring something else besides a bronze hatchet to do this. I'm just using the tool belt right now. Uh, in the future, I think I'll use something else. And so I need to craft these with a, I don't know why Tinderbox counts as crafting, but uh, let's go with a longbow today. For no particular reason. Oh crap. I fucked that up. Okay. Don't click make all. That's the lesson here. And light. So that should be Or time remaining. I've done 10 out of 10. Okay, so then I just have to remove and talk to this guy. And I got my reward. Time for some rune crafting experience. Confirm. Awesome. 
Now I need to go do some penguins. Okay, I finally got all my penguins. I don't know why people even bother trying to PK people that hunt penguins. I mean, everybody that's hunting penguins in the wilderness just brings nothing. It's no surprise. But for some reason, people try to PK them, including me. I got PK twice, mainly because I was too lazy to bring armor or food. But then again, I don't know why I'd want to bring armor or food, because then I just die and lose it. So it doesn't matter. But now I got to go to Chuck. And sorry if this looks laggy, by the way, because it is. Um, that's why it's laggy anyway, or why it looks laggy. Yeah, it's, I don't know why. Normally my internet's a little bit better than this, but it might be something to do with recording and stuff like that. So uh, let's do this. I do want to claim my reward. 24 penguin points. I had eight from earlier than this week. And experience. And I definitely do want rune crafting. So let's see the XP drop. 45k. That's actually pretty nice. And okay. So yeah, that's a lot closer. So then I went ahead and did some other levels. So here I am getting 77 mining. And I I think I did that off iron ore actually and basically yeah, it's just getting a little bit closer I do need to get to 80 I think I could actually probably just do it now but I'll wait and then here I am getting 77 crafting so that's a little bit close to that goal and I will talk about some level adjustments in a second because I actually don't need some of the levels I thought I was going to need and crafting is one of the skills that is a little bit adjusted, so. And I can now make Armadillo Battle Styles, even though the shards are worth less now, so. Here I am getting another fire making level. And, or I'm about to anyway. I got quite a few of these fire making levels while I was working on that guide, and just in general, fire making is pretty easy. Here I was using maple logs. You'll see in a bit that I'm actually not using maple logs that much anymore. I do need to get 92 so I can get the Infernal Adze or whatever it is. So that's going to take a while. So yeah, here I am actually using use. Basically, I just decided it's worth it for me. It cost me like 7 mil. I do have all the use I need banked. So, and kind of failing a little bit on the fire making, but oh well. And I think it's towards the end of this fire making thing. So let's see. Do, 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 do. Nah, failed again. You know what? I'm about to get 82 million experience on my experience counter. Oh, there's, there's the fire making level. And so there it is 84 fire making. So that's, that's getting up there. And. I need 85 for one of the tests and 92 for the other. So I'll get 85 pretty soon, I think. And yeah, here yeah, I just open it up. I don't think I actually could do anything else. Yeah. And that's it for that. And then here I am at Glacors. I just 94 magic if you look in the chat box. And let's speed up the rest of this. But basically, I'm at Glacors so I can hopefully get a little bit more money. I'm hoping for Steadfast Boots. I already got a pair of Rage Fires earlier, like I think a few days ago. So Rage Fires are obviously only like 8 mil right now, but you know, it's still nice, and hopefully I'll get a pair of Steadfast Boots soon. And it also gives me a chance to use my Unicorn. And I'm kind of failing a little bit on these, but oh well. And so yeah, I'll open up the little thing in a second. And basically, if I get a pair of Steadfast Boots, it'll just help so much in terms of being able to buy different skills like crafting and cooking and stuff like that. And also helping with Slayer, just being able to spend a little bit more money on it. And so here I am. I'm about to open this. There it is. So I can now cast Ice Barrage and Vengeance. So it's two very helpful things. And I'm just going to set it at level 95 now. So I can cast Fire Surge without boosting. So I had mentioned that there's a few skills that I don't need to train as much anymore. Those two skills are Slayer 
which was 93. I can now just go to 88 because I can use a wild pie. I think they boost by five. Pretty sure they do. And then I can just kill the ice strike worm by boosting with that. So I actually don't need 93. The other thing is, oh, I didn't even change it on here, is I only need 80 crafting because, oh, and that is because I only need 80 crafting because um, I can just boost by five with the spicy stew. See, I was thinking I would boost fire making and crafting at the same time, but then I realized I'm going for 92 fire making, so it doesn't really matter what I boost that by because it won't need a boost. So basically, I'll just be able to boost this by five with a spicy stew and not worry about it which is great because those two skills are going to be kind of hard and that's half the amount that i need in both of those skills so it's obviously a whole lot less so recently i did a few quests here i am finishing up grim tales and that was a rather annoying quest and but you know it's just nice to get out of the way i don't think i actually needed it for anything in particular but other than something that you'll see in a second in the next clip by the way i am quite tired so my voice kind of sounds weird and basically i'm just kind of falling asleep so that's why i sound weird in the next clip but you'll see and it is a nice clip though okay so i'm about to finish this quest i hope i can't believe it took me this long okay talk to this guy and uh, blah, blah. big stack of coins, i.e. 2k. Um, okay, so that's done. And congratulations, quest complete. Look at that. If I take off the filter, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. It's just amazing. What's this special? Oh, recipe for... That's weird. Okay. And then... Teleport. Uh, it took me so long to do those quests. So I'm just kind of happy they're done now. And... I was a really low FPS. Six. <laughs> uh, train where I believe it is. Watch, I'll be wrong and I'll have to go figure out where to get a quest point cape. Um, believe I talked to the wise old man. Greetings. I'd like to buy a quest point cape. Uh, yes. Woohoo. It's so great. Five FPS. It's not that really interesting of a thing, but let's see. Uh, where are my moats? Uh, skill kit. Wow, the balloon kind of actually screws that up. Okay, let's try that again. I see it looks way better without bloom. The Jagex really needs to fix that. Well, that's quest point cape, finally. <laughs> I know it's not actually part of the overall goal, but I did need to finish most of those quests to get the uh to finish all the tasks, so I don't mind, I really wanted to get this anyway, so there it is, the quest point cape. With the quest point cape, or with the Tai Boani trio, I could finally do the easy and medium tasks. And here I am just getting the medium tasks out of the way. And there it is, so that's the medium tasks out of the way. And then I went on and Okay, so this is the last task I have to do in the Karamja thing, so if I ever kill this, I'll turn on turmoil and make it faster. And there we go, completed hard tasks. 
Now, with that, I have completed all the hard tasks except, uh, I'll just teleport. And so I've completed all the tasks overall in the easy through hard except for the Fremenic because they introduced the totally livid task later. So I have to go do that. I'll probably do that at like one hour a day or something like that. And then the other one is in Falador. There's these four here. And I don't know if I actually have to do those to get the Taskmaster. I assume I do. So I'll just join a clan or something and go get those done. Yeah, it shouldn't take too long, hopefully. And now I'm going to go do two elite tasks. Okay, so for my first elite task, I'm going to cook a shark here. Basically, I decided that since I've already done so many Karamja things, I might as well keep going. So there you go. Crunchy coating done. It's one of them. And so here I am. I'm just going to grab some red spider eggs. Supposed to... I needed to do that to help with the next task, which I'll do in a second. Okay, and then after forever in the agility arena, I can buy that. Now I just mix that and that and another elite task done. That's amazing. Somebody's talking to me. Just a second. Okay, anyway, that's two more tasks complete. And I'll deal with them in a bit. And so, yeah, that's two more. And I'll be able to do more tasks next week, too, hopefully. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know I enjoyed getting all these levels and the quest point cape and stuff. On Saturday, I will be releasing, hopefully, a Slayer Diary. I'm going to go back and do some more Slayer. And then on Sunday, I'll be releasing a new guide. So subscribe for those and please rate and comment on this video.